engaging community is everything. So I don't know, this is late in the day. I don't know how <laughs> much energy you have to focus or stay you know, sort of uh, with me on this answer. But it has to do with uh, taking concerns, uh, constituents' concerns seriously and not take them, not only not take them for granted, but be able to listen and be open and have a debate, willing to have a debate to come up with good, sustainable answers. And if I could really dial it into current moment, it was last night yeah. at my cousin's house, we hosted an event, a fundraiser, for a fellow who's running in Texas, in Sugarland, T22, yeah. Srinivas Kulkarni. Uh, his answer to a fellow, a good friend of mine, Republican, asked him questions pertaining to minimum wage. He talked about, you know, immigration. He talked about issues that are generally on all, many of our minds, right? Sri's answers were pretty good because he runs in a, he's running in a red district. A solidly red district T22, massively gerrymandered thanks to uh, Tom, you know, Tom DeLay, the infamous Tom DeLay years ago. Not not to go back and whine about that, but his his answers were so nuanced. He said, he says, these are complex issues. Yeah. They cannot have simple answers. I cannot just throw an answer back at you on minimum wage. I cannot give you a quick answer on what changes ACA needs to make sure that more people are insured and how to contain this runaway cost on health. I, I cannot say we just need to, you know, take Canada's plan or, or Switzerland's plan or England's plan and put it in here. That's not the answer today. Yeah. So, the, so the point he was making was the importance of having your beliefs, having your argument, uh, arguments, having your case ready to discuss and debate and be willing to have a conversation. Uh, so I think I think that's a really, really important stuff. Yeah. I picked up on that yesterday. Here's a guy, I'm not sure what his age is, somewhere uh, 